Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Jamie and I am back with another video. This video is going to be our BoxyCharm. So my BoxyCharm just came today and I couldn't wait to immediately open it. I did go through it a little bit. I'm so sorry, but I wanted to take a little sneak peek and kind of see where I was going with the box. Sometimes I like to demonstrate things. Sometimes I like to just show it. So for today, I used a few things, but I'm going to go in the box with you and we're going to explore. So the first thing in our box is probably my favorite, and I did use it on my eyes today, not the liner, the shadow. It has a great assortment of shadows, is the TARDIS Pro eyeshadow palette. This eyeshadow palette is so cute. It has so many mattes in it, and that's what I love. I'm a matte girl, so if you could see, I know there's a glare. All of these are mattes, and then just these are shimmers, which I never thought I wanted this eyeshadow palette until I have it, and now I'm like, how the fuck did I live without it? It just has such a great assortment of colors. Not every color that I love, but it has such a great assortment of colors, and it really works beautifully on the eyes with like a fair skin tone, not fair, a lighter skin tone. Even when I'm tan, I think it'll look great. And it came with this really cute card to like tell you how to do different eye looks. I think that's so adorable for people that are just starting with makeup. So this is our card, sorry. Our boxy charm this month is called the Oasis. Don't mind my crazy tan. I'm fixing it right after this video. So Oasis. So it has our little descriptions. I don't need to read the description about the eyeshadow palette. We know that. The next thing we got is by Hallmark Collectibles. It's a silk pillowcase and silk sleeping mask. Um, I actually have both of these things. I have a few silk sleeping masks because my best friend actually works in beauty PR. Um, lucky bitch. She gets so many things for free. Um, but she does share the wealth, so I love her for that. Love you, Mal. Um, so I have a ton of these sleeping masks from Silk. Um, this one is not as great of a quality. It does have, I mean, the front is, it's just, this would bother me in the back. But as an extra sleeping mask or as a gift, I think it's so cute. The pillowcases are great. When I do my hair straight, I don't really feel like I need them. But when I curl my hair like day after day after day, um, it gets frizzier. Like the friction from the pillowcase builds up frizziness. So sleeping on a silk pillowcase really, really helps. Um, okay, next. I don't need to read the description on these things. You guys know it. So this is a Pure, Pure Lease Perfect Glow BB Cream. Now this is like almost like a tinted moisturizer. It's a complexion perfection for a gorgeous matte meets dewy finish. Your multitasking beauty balm glides on like a tinted moisturizer moisturizer which is defying coverage and sunscreen benefits like a foundation but a bb cream okay i don't know why they gave me the shade fair i am very not fair so i'm not gonna even open it and show you guys the color but i do actually have a sample of this that i got from ipsy let me see if i can take it out that i got from ipsy in the color light and this is even too light for me so fair is never gonna work even probably on my lightest days in the winter i don't know maybe i'll give it to one of my friends um We'll see about that. But this is a great product. The product itself is fabulous. The color, not so much. So next thing we have, oh wait, we also have this thing for Pure Lease, a little card. It kind of, oh, it kind of tells you all the drug facts and everything about it. Um, I kind of read to you. It, the benefits are improved skin perfect, complexion, softens and evens tones, hydrates the skin, helps refine fine helps reduce fine lines, wrinkles, dark spots, prevent sun damage. So it's it has nice coverage. It's pretty decent. I, I actually really like it, but fair is never going to float for this girl. So sorry about that. Sorry I keep playing with my pony. It's just like 18th day greasy hair is hard to, hard to manage. So um, my next thing is from Tula. I just recently um, got something from Tula and I love it. I think it's a fabulous skincare brand. Um, it's definitely making it to the top of my faves um, for skincare. Um, never will replace my Ule. Ule Hendrickson has my heart, but Tula is great. So this is the Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. Anything eye balm, I'm down for. Let's read about this. This eye balm stick delivers a lip from within glow with instantly hydrating, cooling, and filling in the lines around the eyes. You'll feel awake with this eye balm and look refreshed and energized so you can glow and get it. Let's see how it says to do to apply directly to the under eye under makeup. So this is like an under makeup kind of thing. That's weird. I've never seen something like that before. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Hmm. It smells weird, but it's just like a nothing. It's just like a balm. A cool it's definitely cooling. It's for sure cooling, but it's just like a brightening balm. I'm gonna try that under my makeup and we'll see see how it works. So not really skincare, more makeup, but that should be fun. 
Okay, the next thing we have is this oil. It's from Malin and Gotez. Um, and it is a botanical oil treatment, absorbed quickly to nourish skin, helps improve appearance of fine line wrinkles. It has evening primrose argon and jojoba oils to help boost hydration. Grapeseed and rosehip oils deliver vitamin C and E to help improve skin tone. Geranium and borage oils help balance skin, suitable for all skin types. This bottle is fucking gorgeous. Whoever did marketing and made up this bottle up, they're fucking genius. And I want them on my team when I make, when I make makeup one day one of my eyelashes looks like it's like sagging i hate when that happens like one lash will look like it's sagging so you look like i have a wonky eye i don't have a wonky eye sometimes in pictures which is annoying but anyway so this oil um oh my god smells amazing let's see the texture so this is a really nice oil it's very thin doesn't feel super uh, a little greasy but honestly what i use oil for i don't put it on my skin because i used to be oily skin now i'm more normal now more oily normal skin like combo skin but i don't put oil on my face ever i have enough serums and moisturizers even under makeup the closest thing i'll come to an oil on my skin is the laneige glowy makeup serum but other than that i i don't use it but what i do use it for is when i tan and i put moisturizer like in between my on my elbows or in between my fingers or on my feet or my knees sometimes moisturizer doesn't cut it so what i did what i've been doing is the last oil i got is actually also from boxycharm it is almost empty, so good thing I got this, but I use that and moisturizer on all the areas I want to kind of protect and not make like patchy and gross. Um, this doesn't count. My tan usually looks amazing, but it's like the last day. I have to scrub it off and redo it. Anyway, back to this. This is probably something I'm really excited for, even though I've heard very, very mixed reviews on it, so I don't know if I'm going to like it. I'm actually going to try it in the shower right now. Kylie Skin. This is foaming face wash. And you also get a coupon. Look at that bitch. So beautiful. You get $5 off with your next Kylie skin purchase. That's cool. I like Kylie. I have mixed reviews on some of her makeup, but we'll see how this works. Let's read about it. Um, let's see what it says here. Face wash infused with ultra nourishing kiwi seed oil packed with vitamin C and E to help maintain moisture and improve elasticity. Gentle formula cleanse in skin, removes dirt, oil, and makeup for fresh, bright complexion. That sounds pretty promising. You know, if it could do all that, more power to her. I know, like, I watched when Jeffree Star and Sean Dawson. It smells fresh, like, like cotton, like linen, like very fresh. I'm going to try it in the shower today. We'll see how it goes. Um, and our last thing we have is Greengrass CBD Head to Toe Cream. I'm not a huge fan of CBD. Like, honestly, I just want the THC. Give me the weed. I just, you know, CBD doesn't really do much. But it says it, this formula uses THC-free encapsulated CBD for faster absorption. It's packed with high-performance ingredients for intense hydration, exceptional moisture, plus soothing and calming benefits. Great use as a daily facial moisturizer or for challenging spots from head to toe. So you know what? I think this... And this are now going to be added in and maybe switched up, maybe used all the time into my tanning routine. Because, let's see what this is like. Because if it's super nourishing and like helps protect, yeah, it's like a super silky cream. It's almost like, here I'll show you guys. It's almost like, it's not like thick like a moisturizer. It's almost as thin as a serum. It smells doesn't really smell like anything which is surprising but it does feel really nice on my skin like it really moisturizes and really like is getting in there so these two things we're gonna try in the shower and kylie skin don't forget everything else you know this i'm gonna try and let you guys know what i actually think i'm gonna do is probably my next video i'm going to use everything i got like more in depth like tutorial style so i'll use this i'll use this um maybe i'll use my darker color of this um, so we'll see how, you know, these things work. So this was um, the BoxyCharm Lux. And all of these things, should we add it up? I don't have a calculator here. So we'll add up later. I'm using my phone to film. Let's just do it by 30, 40, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 150, 200, 250. Wow, this is $90. And this is $60. That's crazy. Um so it's about almost three hundred dollars in products i just want to tell you guys how much this stuff is because some of it's crazy this is 24 we all know that kylie's prices aren't you know the best this is actually 35 which is surprising because you know i don't know i don't think it's worth 35 um this 28 i think that's reasonably priced and, oopsie 
and hopefully drop proof. Um, the satin pillowcase, $50. I think that's pretty normal. I mean, I haven't bought any because my best friend gives them to me for free, which I love her for. But this, uh, sorry, $60. That's, I would never spend $60 on this. This, $90. Like, sometimes I'm like, are these really the true prices or are they exaggerating? Because $90 for, like, just a plain oil, I don't know. I would never purchase that ever. But I don't know. We'll try it. And then the last thing is the lip pencils. Did I show you guys the lip pencils? The lip pencils that we got. I don't know if I showed you these. I might have just put them away. So these are from Bodyography, and there are two lip pencils. One's like a light pink, one's a dark pink. Um, they're not very creamy. They're just like standard pencils. Um, I'm sorry if I did show you, but, you know, I'm having a brain fart. Um, so two lip pencils, which these two together were $30. I'll use them, but, you know, mm -hmm. not my favorites. So, yeah, so that was our BoxyCharm haul. I hope you all enjoyed um, what we got, and I hope you all maybe try a BoxyCharm and let me know what you get, what you like, what you don't like. Um, if any of you are on Boxy Traders, let me know because there are some things like this that I would want to trade and I want to know like people's experience with it before I just dive right in and start trading things. So let me know. Get back to me. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!